Where There's a Will by Trish Palmer Doris and Olive are two elderly ladies and long-term friends. They meet once each week in the back room of a charity shop to sort out donations. Just two sweet, ordinary ladies leading ordinary lives. Or are they two grannies behaving very badly indeed? We meet them as they embark on a mission of revenge following the death of their friend, Mrs Sandown, and find their own lives are changed forever in the process. Morning, Doris. Good morning, Olive. And a lovely day it is too. There's lots in this morning. You never guess. I stepped right into a spot of bother yesterday. I've been banned from the supermarket. How on earth did you manage that? Oh, I got fed up with that young bloke who keeps calling me darling or dearie. Condescending little sod. I asked him not to, but he's never taken any notice. Oh dear. Did you do something you shouldn't have? Well, he was the final straw. I was already grumpy. They'd sold out of my favourite toilet paper. What am I supposed to wipe my watsits with if there's no super soft available? Hold on for two days until they get some in. Anyway, I get to the checkout and he calls me darling. Well, that was it. I went round to his side of the counter and said, Yes, darling. Grabbed his head in both my hands and gave him a big sloppy smackaroo right on the lips. He fought hard but had him good. You've probably scarred him for life, poor lad. Poor be damned. Now he might show us a bit more respect. Darling, indeed. Nearly caught myself on that dreadful nose ring he's got. I just hope I don't catch one of those mad modern STD thingies off him. Like hepatitis, whatever thing I mean. It would serve you right. How long's the ban? Oh, two weeks. Hopefully they'll have some super soft by then. Anyway, it was worth it. Oh, you know, it feels grand to be alive, don't you think? Bound to be a good day today, eh? Better than Mrs Sandown's having anyway. Huh? I popped up to see her yesterday, took her fresh flowers. She's lost a bit of weight. How do you make that out? The mound on her grave has dropped quite a bit. A good couple of kilos, I reckon. <laughs> well, it wouldn't do her any harm. She's always was a bit on the heavy side. You know that useless son of hers? Oh, him with the big flash boy racer cars. His jack-o'-lanterns can't be very big. Doris! Anyway, he's been clearing out her house. It's all going into a skip. He's not even bothering to recycle or sell what? anything. No way. All that beautiful antique furniture. Yep, everything. Even the photo albums. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, well, he wants new stuff. He's going to carry on living there, apparently. Is he really? Well, he was a pig to her, you know. She did everything for him. He wouldn't pay her a cent or lift a finger. He's got to be 50-something. Do you know he wouldn't even take her to the supermarket? She had to lug the groceries home with that bad leg of hers. I told her it would be the death of her. Well, he'll have to get his own now. That's cute. Do you know he had the will read before the funeral? He got the lot. Pity. Yeah. Hmm, about that. Supposing there was another will, hypothetically speaking, of course... How long should it take to appear? Well, that's a funny question. Lawyers are usually on to that. Maybe a week or two, why? Well, what if someone else had it instead of the lawyer? Say a a friend and Mrs Sandown had said to wait for a bit uh, for revenge. Mrs Sandown wouldn't have done that. She was such a mouse. I remember one day when I called round. That useless son of hers was asleep in the middle of the afternoon. Mrs Sandown begged me not to make any noise. She was almost shaking. Terrified, I thought. Poor thing. Well, before he moved in, she had more spirit. Could even be quite feisty at times. I think he just wore her down. She used to like helping out at the RSPCA and food bank. He put a stop to that rotten beggar. 
Mind you, she retaliated sometimes. I remember she removed an expensive insignia from his favourite car once. Scratched the car something wicked. <laughs> he still thinks a thief did it. No way! Mrs Sandown, I don't believe oh, it. Oh, look at this. One single sock. What on earth are we supposed to do with one sock? Do these people think we have one-legged clients? Anyway, coming back to my question. How long until the new will should surface? Hypothetically speaking, of course. Hmm, for revenge. Whoa, at least a month. Let him change everything. Get settled in, then wham, hit him right between the eyes or in the pocket. That's where it would hurt him most. Revenge? Best serve cold. That's exactly what Mrs Sandown said. And she's certainly cold now. A month, you reckon? Yeah. What are you up to? You haven't... Have you? You have! There's another will! Shh! Not so loud! What does it say? Come on, you can't leave it like that. I hope she takes him to the cleaners. Well, it's sealed. I wasn't there when she did it. How exciting! There was some spirit in the old girl after all. That's the embalming fluid. Probably better than that ghastly gin she liked. Doris! Speaking of spirit, her death made me think. I can't be sitting around waiting for God like a zombie. I've signed up to do an open university degree in English literature. I'd like to have at least one qualification before I keel over. Oh, good for you. Well, funnily enough, I've been thinking along those lines too. Not oh you, but about getting a bit tech savvy. Gadgets, computers, cell phones. It's on my bucket list. Bucket list? What's that? Oh, you know, the crazy things we'd like to do before we kick the bucket. <laughs> if I did that, I'd get a tattoo right across my chest. <laughs> Something ridiculous. <laughs> you? That'd be the day. Imagine what your daughter would say. I know. Anyway, what else is on the list? Oh, for years I wanted to be kissed by Arnold Schwarzenegger. But not now. How come? And you noticed who he's got old. I <laughs> looked in the mirror lately. You're not exactly spring chicken yourself. More like grizzled goose. Oh, thanks a bunch. <laughs> what were you saying about tech stuff? Oh, I went to the local college, signed up for a course. What do your family think? Oh, I'm not telling. They laugh at my tech ignorance. Rude, I reckon. I have a plan, though, and they definitely don't need to know. But you live with them. They'll see you using the computer. They're out all day. They have no idea what I do. Nonsense. Don't think they even notice that the chores get done. That's terrible. I know. That's why I think it's time for some sweet revenge. While I'm alive to enjoy it. You watch where there's a will. Be careful. They'll put you in a home. Oh, I don't think so. My accountant's son likes the board money too much. Board money? You don't pay board. Yeah. Commercial rates, too. The lousy son of a... Whoops, uh, sorry. No worries. Anyway, you're right about him. But like I said, I have a plan. Oh, my word. Is that the time? i got to go. My daughter's in town and we're meeting for lunch. Oh, same time next week. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Morning, Doris. Morning, Olive. Oh, top of the morning to you. Here, I brought some stuff from my neighbour. It should be useful. So, what's new in your will? Done anything with that will yet? No, going to wait the whole month. I called round there, you know, took him a cake. He didn't even say thank you. I should have put tomato in it. Brings him out in hives, apparently. Would have served him right, disrespectful beggar. There's absolutely nothing left of his mother's stuff. He's put in a brand new furniture and a huge telly. It would have cost a fortune. You know the best bit, though, considering there's another will. <laughs> he quit his job, took early retirement, reckons he can live off her life insurance money. <laughs> <laughs> this gets better and better. Do you still think you should delay showing the will? Oh, hell yes. You said a month. 
Three weeks to go. Don't blame me. Oh, it's all right. There's no blame. Oh, so looking forward to it, though. Makes me laugh every time I think about it. Speaking of laughing, I started my studies. The reaction of the school kids was funny. They call me Grandma. What, you? The woman always makes kids call you by your proper name. Yeah, but with this bunch it's different. It feels nice, like a compliment. And it's so good to be mixing with young minds. I've missed that. Getting old separates us from them, you know. Oh, I know what you mean. Oh, look at this T-shirt. What on earth does this say? Beats me. Actually, maybe I don't want to know. Oh, and speaking of younger minds and things, I went past the primary school just before nine this morning. All those young mums depositing their offspring for the day. I tell you, call me a prude, but those tights those women wear leave nothing to the imagination. My mother always said you should have a few surprises tucked away. Hmm. I certainly have some surprises tucked away in here. Doris, behave yourself. Next you'll be talking about sex. Ah, sex. Oh, I remember sex like it was yesterday. Oh, wait, it was yesterday. Doris! Well, you know that nice man at the bookshop. Stop! I don't want to know. Really, at your age. Absolutely at my age. Got a few rumbles round the bed in me yet, you know. What if your family find out? Oh, who cares? It's not like I get pregnant. I take precautions, you know. Precautions? Got to make sure they don't got. They haven't got a heart condition. Can't have them dying on me. They? Them? There's more than one? Heck yes. More interesting, no strings. I think we'd better change the subject. Have you done that bag over there? No, it didn't look nice. I'll do it. How's the computer course going? Oh, really good. Learning heaps. It's not as hard as I thought, and there's been a spin-off already. What's that? Well, I was searching my grandson's bedroom. Wait, what? You can't do that. Of course I can. He was at school, perfectly safe. What were you looking for? His passwords. Apparently, most people keep a password list somewhere. I want to take a peek in his phone, see what he's been up to, but I'll need his password. Oh, Doris. Anyway, I was hunting through his stuff and found a packet of white pills. No label or anything. He's not sick, so they can't be legit. What did you do? I swiped them, of course. That night, I heard him almost dismantle his room looking for them. He's on tenterhooks because he doesn't know who's got them. (laughs) He's being ultra nice and helpful. He even offered to do the dishes. His mother can't believe the change. You should have seen her face when he gave her a hug in front of his girlfriend. Happy days. Are you going to tell him? Oh, heck no. This bag is disgusting. Everything is ripped or stained. It will have to go into the rubbish. Such a shame. Some of the stuff looks like it's been used to be quite good. What are you going to do with the pills? Ah, I have a plan. Morning, Doris. Good morning, Olive. Oh, it's a grand day. Have a cream cake. Oh, no, I can't. Trying to lose weight. Well, suit yourself. Sorry I had to cancel last week. Class has got in the way. Oh, how's that going? Mostly good, but I don't get on with a poetry tutor. He insists on dissecting poems. Prat. We had one the other day. I thought it was about falling off a cliff, but he had other ideas. Oh, dear. He reckoned it was a metaphor. Sounded garbage to me. There was this line about trying to grab hold of a tuft of grass. He said it was about life itself, how we cling to anything for survival. I began to think that I must be really stupid. It stands to reason if you're falling off a cliff, then of course you're going to grab at anything. That could be a metaphor though, couldn't it? Yes, but next thing he's talking about sex. I mean, how did sex come into it? He said the poem was about sex and death. Humbug, I wanted to scream. He completely ruined a good poem by pulling it apart. So what did you do? Oh, you'll laugh. I didn't have to do anything. The poet came to see us. He looked a bit dazed when our tutor told him what we, 
meaning he, had got from the poem. Then, wait for it, he said that actually he was just about falling off a cliff. I could have hugged him. Poor tutor. Poor tutor, nothing. I hate that intelligentsia stuff, just poppycock. Needs pushing off a cliff anyway. So, how's the computer course going? Oh, great. Did you know you can do banking online? It's really easy. If you've got money to bank with. Speaking of which, did you hear the store made a record profit last week? They reckon they'll be able to provide two extra families with bedding, furniture and books. Great, eh? Wonderful. Oh, that makes our efforts really worthwhile. And just to clarify, I didn't use it for my banking. No, I like cheques and cash. Bit old-fashioned, but it suits me. If you didn't use it for your money, what did you use it for? Revenge. Revenge? What are you talking about? Well, you know how my son's been charging me full board? Yeah, totally unfair if you ask me. You never charged them for babysitting all those years. Exactly. That's why this is so good. I found his bank password. Oh, Doris, what have you done? Well, those charities he gives to by automatic payment... I changed the bank account number. What? Who to? Me. Oh, my word, he'll be furious. No, no. The charity name still shows on the statements, so he won't even notice. Who checks the actual bank account number if the name is right? They'll contact him to ask why he stopped paying. (laughs) Oh, and that's the best bit. I rang each one and told them he'd died unexpectedly. Oh, they were terribly sympathetic. Then I went into his emails and blacklisted a lot of them, so he won't get any of their messages. What about snail mail? Oh, I collect it, so I'll be able to intercept anything. You cunning old bag! How much did you, um, divert? Oh, about half my board. Pretty fair, I'd say. Speaking of fair, what's happening with the will? Oh, I couldn't wait any longer, taking it up to the lawyer today. How do you know it's kosher? Oh, the solicitor wrote it up for her. Mrs Sandown wanted to make sure it was bulletproof, or at least sunproof. Can I come? Of course. Lovely. By the way, did you do anything with those pills you found? Oh, yeah. It turned out much better than I dreamed. What happened? Uh, I decided to test them. Not on myself, of course. I slipped one into my son's drink. Spiked it, you mean? Oh, is that what it's called? Well, anyway, next thing he gets all happy... The stiff accountant ogre morphed into a mischievous sex-starved elf. (laughs) Even laughed out loud for no reason. Next thing, he's cuddling my daughter-in-law, playing with her tits right in front of us. (laughs) She looked really shocked. He started joking about making babies and pulled her off to the bedroom. It wasn't even dark outside. (laughs) That's never happened in their house before. My grandson went really pale seeing his dad like that. He couldn't say anything. It must nearly have killed him. So hilarious. He still doesn't know who's actually got the pills. It's brilliant. (laughs) Stop, stop. That's wicked. (laughs) Well, next morning, my daughter-in-law is singing, singing. I think she suspects, though, because she looked me straight in the eye and said that she hopes whatever made him so chirpy... Happens again really soon. (laughs) It took me all my nerve to behave normally. Mm, She's got a birthday coming up. What about your grandson? Oh, still on best behaviour. He knows someone's got the pills, but not who. It is so funny. He tried to find out if it was me. Can't think why he'd suspect his dear little old grandma. I can What did he say? Oh, he asked me if I knew what was up with his dad. All innocent-like. Going to confess? Heck no. Secrets are fun. I wish my diet was fun. You do know what diet means, don't you? No, apart from starvation and pain. Trying to work the calories out, I hate it. Oh, you've made it too complicated. Think about it. Diet. D-I-E-T. Do I enjoy this? If the answer is yes, you can't eat it. Simple. Eat whatever you don't like. Oh, that's just great. Oops, it's already 11.30. Time to go to the lawyers. Coming? (music) 
morning, Doris. Good morning, Olive. It's a fine sort of day, is it not? Hmm. I hate to say it, and please don't take this the wrong way, but you look positively hideous. Isn't it wonderful? So pleased you don't like it. But why? Look, you've got a stain on your blouse and a button missing. Oh my God, you're wearing slippers. What is going on? You missed the best bit. Let me just open my blouse and show you my tattoo. See what it says? (sighs) Made in England. No way. You actually did it. Made in England right across your chest. I love it. A tick off your bucket list. But why now? Some sort of late life crisis? My daughter's in town. And? She insists on taking me to swanky places for lunch. We wait hours for the food, then there's virtually nothing on the plate. She calls it fine dining. More like a rip-off, if you ask me. Last time, we had deconstructed salad. What a joke! A lettuce leaf on our plate, and then a platter of stuff for us to create our own salad. He cost half of my weekly food budget. Oh, dear. What's worse, she took a selfie for Facebook. Food snobbery. Dis... So why not suggest somewhere else? There must be places you like to eat. Yes, at home with fresh salad from the garden. We could sit on the deck in peace and actually enjoy a chat. But she won't. I don't understand. If you're going to a fine dining place, why the hideous clothes? (laughs) Well, she won't want to see me seen dead with me looking like this. With a bit of luck, she'll suggest lunch at my house. Ah. I dread these days, you know. How come you've never mentioned this before? For the same reason that Mrs Sandown didn't say anything about her son and you never admit that you pay to be a slave to your family. That's not true. Really? Full board and you do all the chores. I bet you even take the rubbish out. Well... Exactly. We love them. We want to keep the peace. It feels disloyal to admit that we're the victims of elder abuse. Elder abuse? Elder abuse. Oh, I'm proud of my daughter, don't get me wrong. But refusing to listen to me, making me spend more money than I can afford on a meal I don't want, that's a form of bullying. It's partly my fault, I don't want to get offside, so I let it happen. Oh, Olive. Sometimes I wonder if my daughter got switched at birth. Her values are so different to mine. Oh, you love her, really? Of course I do, like you love your son. Mrs Sandown probably loved her son once. Hmm, maybe our kids are throwbacks. Must be on their father's side. But look at us. <laughs> We've certainly been kicking back lately, eh? Wonder what else we can do. <laughs> Enough of that. You're dangerous when you get going. Oh, look. Here's another humorous toilet roll holder. That'll be the third one today. Mind you, I'm not sure that a picture of Donald Trump... Offering to let you thinger me on his paper is actually funny. Well, they should be banned. People gift them for Christmas, but no one actually uses them, do they? You reckon they just should recycle through the shop? Maybe I should mark this one so that we notice it when he comes back next time. Changing the subject, what happened about the will? Have you heard anything? Oh, it's a wonder you didn't feel the explosion. Even the police got involved. No! Yep. The law you read, Mrs Sandown's son, the new will, he lost the plot big time and hit that nice lawyer right smack on the nose. No! Yep, broke it apparently. Such a bully. How do you know what happened? The lawyer phoned. Uh, He advised me not to let on there to be me holding the will. Very wise. I wonder what it says. Oh, that's easy and wonderful. It saves everything in trust. Proceeds to the food bank and the RSPCA, of course. Everything? Yep. The whole shebang, except for the photo albums. They go to the sun. But he ditched them? Yep. So he'll be homeless without a job? Even better than that. He has to repay the value of all his mother's beautiful antiques he got rid of. His precious cars will have to be sold to cover it. No! He wrote to the will's executor... Asking for time and leniency. Reckoned he loved his mother, that she'd misunderstood him due to her elderly, frail state. Frail? Mrs Sandown? 
She carted all the groceries home because he wouldn't help her. Exactly. And she was our age. Hardly old. Huh. Anyway, the executor said no. What's more, Mrs Sandown had thoughtfully provided photos of all her stuff in the will. The lawyer got a registered value to price up what the son owes. It's thousands. He'll find a way to wheedle round the executor, mark my words. Oh, not if he can't locate her. Isn't she local? Oh, she's local. But the documentation is in her legal name, not the one she goes by. That's lucky. Mm -hmm. He has to move out, hand over the insurance money and repay. Hmm. Retribution for how he treated his mother all those years. How do you know all this? Well... It's you? You're the executor? Shh! Keep your voice down. Oh, revenge. Best served cold. Well, you know what they say. Where there's a will, there's a way. Here's to Mrs Sandown. Mrs Sandown. Now, do you have any of those pills left? My tutor could do with one. <laughs>